Center of Excellence for Green Nanotechnologies is part of the King Abdulaziz City for Science and Technology. It falls under the Joint Centers of Excellence Program Department. In this department, we have many centers and each center focuses on a specific field. In our case, we focus on nanoscience and the applications of nanotechnologies. Currently, the center is funded under the Technical Leaders Program, which is part of the National Industrial Development and Logistics Plan, part of Vision 2030. Shifting to 2015, the center has laid its foundation in Riyadh, which enabled the expansion of its projects into more applied research in nanotechnology and nanoscience. We focus on creating innovative nano devices and nanosystems for renewable energies. We also tackle world-class problems such as climate change and global warming. We all know that the surface of the Earth is heating up, and what we're trying to do is to recycle this heat and using it as an energy source, using thermoelectric devices from a nanoscale point of view. Low-dimensional devices uh, have many forms. Uh, they could be one-dimensional devices, they could be two-dimensional devices, they could be even zero-dimensional devices. Uh, in our center, we work with one-dimensional devices and two-dimensional devices. Fifty-odd years ago, when they started studying thin films, certain properties have emerged, and this is due to researchers crossing into the other, to the other realm, which is the quantum realm. Now, at that realm, certain unique properties would emerge and would be very attractive to the industry. In our center, we are currently working with a high power laser technique to thin the material and to go from bulk to mono or even bilayer. This technique is so amazing that we can use it very easily and also very fast. Some of the challenges that we as researchers are facing in characterizing this, these materials, these 2D nanomaterials, is related to them degrading or changing their properties under different atmospheres and different testing conditions. Still, 2D uh, nanomaterials are far from being used commercially. However, they have shown some auxiliary uh, properties with regards to them as being used in photo detectors and photo transistors. Uh, one of the main research directions at CGEN uh, is the optoelectronics. Uh, uh, we focus here uh, at optoelectronic devices uh, from materials and growth perspective and uh, processing. We're looking for novel devices that maintain the demand of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to achieve the vision of uh, 2030. Uh, we introduced a novel method of uh, having 2D materials as a buffer layer between three five semiconductors and uh, silicon substrate. Uh, in this case, we alleviate the lattice mismatch uh, between the 3.5 and the silicon substrate. Uh, also, we alleviate the thermal expansion coefficient mismatch. Uh, these results are promising and uh, we think that we'll have a new direction of integrating 3.5 uh, materials on silicon substrates. I would say my greatest achievement is building a team of young researchers that are capable of carrying on high quality research on optoelectronic devices and ultra-high vacuum systems. Non-invasive biosensors are smart devices that can track your physical activities and monitor your health care without blood extraction. With our collaboration with USC, we have developed a nanobiosensors based on indium oxide transistors. The electrodes of this device are functionalized with glucose oxidase, which can detect glucose. The device shows high sensitivity in range of nanomolar, which is really important since the glucose concentrations is much lower in human fluids than in the blood. And I have always believed the value of science is to serve a humanity, and the center leads me towards this goal. It's worth creating this center because it's a new concept, especially in the region. We want to create a leading role in nanoscience and nanotechnology. The center's vision is to create a global science hub for scientists and engineers. 